Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a quick video going over how to make a simple loading screen with Power Apps. So we're gonna start out with making a blank canvas app and we'll utilize phone in this video. So we'll just call it loading screen video and we'll click create. So for this app, we're gonna need three screens. We're gonna kinda of need a home screen, we're gonna need the loading screen itself, and then we're gonna need the screen that is going to navigate to, let's call it a success screen. So we're gonna start by calling our screen one, let's say home screen, and we'll drop down another screen blank and we will call it loading screen. And for the third screen, we're gonna drop a success screen, um, which is a Power App template screen, which is pretty cool. And we'll drop a button so that we can navigate back to the home screen um, once we land here. So we'll just call this home and we'll add the on select property to be navigate and we'll say home screen. So now when we click this, we'll go back home. Now we're going to drop a new button on the home screen and we're going to rename its text to say go to loading screen and this is the button we're going to use to call the navigate function to move you to the loading screen. So I just added this label here so we know that we're on the home screen uh, but what we're going to do next is go to the uh, go to loading screen button and make sure we're on the on select property and we're going to delete false and we're going to say navigate which is going to move us to a different screen and we're going to click loading screen here and close that off so now when we click this it's going to go to the loading screen so now that we're on our loading screen we're going to want to drop a label down and we're just going to put its text as loading and we will center that and make it a little bigger next we're going to go to input and scroll all the way down and we're going to find a timer and we're going to drag that up to the top left uh, this is what we're going to use to navigate to the success screen after a set time interval. Again, you can make loading screens really complex. Uh, the sake of this video, it's going to be probably the most basic one you can build, uh, but kind of teaching you the concept. You can certainly add a whole bunch of different criteria based on your own app, your own processes, but we're going to go ahead with the timer route. So we can see in the top left that the duration control of the timer is set to 60,000, and this is 60,000 milliseconds. So by default, the timer is set to a minute. Um, let's say we want to change this to three seconds, we're gonna do 3,000 uh, for three seconds. Uh, and the next thing we wanna do is make sure that the auto start is turned on. So make sure the auto start property is true. You can either do that from up here, um, or you can come over here and turn that on. And this basically means that whenever this screen loads, so whenever we're on loading screen, this timer is going to start. Uh, so what we wanna do now is find the property on timer end. So this property says, hey, when the timer's done, so after the three seconds or whatever interval that you set for it is up, what's gonna happen? So what we wanna make it do is navigate to the success screen, which in our app is called screen three. So we're going to do navigate and screen three. So now what we should have is when we click on this, the timer should start and we'll be on the screen three. So we're gonna do a quick test now. So we're gonna put the app into play and we'll click it and we can see that our timer has started. Three seconds go by and boom, now we are on the success screen. So the last thing we wanna do with our timer is make sure that its visible property is set to false. So if we scroll all the way down on the properties bar, uh, we will find visible and we'll say false as it really doesn't need to be shown anywhere since it's just kind of controlling um, when to navigate to the success screen in our app. So next we're gonna show you how to make this look a little better as it's pretty static right now and a user might not know that anything's happening on the screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a GIF to the project um, to kind of show that there's something going on. So we're gonna to come to this website here, which I will have in the description. And this is just a place where you can get free animations. So in the search bar here, we're gonna type in loading. So now you can see we have a bunch of different animations that have loaded that we can download. Um, again, this is a free website, so we don't have the greatest selection, but for the sake of the video, we are going to click on this no trespassing one. Uh, you can move the animation speed, you can change the colors of it, which is pretty sweet. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and download this, uh, and we see it's called 15.gif. So we're gonna go back to our Power App, and we're gonna click on Media and then Upload. So we've got our animation loaded into our app and we're just going to drag it onto our loading screen and we're gonna make it a little bigger. Um, and now we can certainly resize our loading text and we'll say 45, bring it down, and now we'll give this thing a try. So we're back at the home screen and we're gonna say go to loading screen. We have our animation and after three seconds, 
now we land at our success screen. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Again, this is just a really simple UI trick on what's possible with loading screens. Uh, so I hope you get the concept of how to build one. Uh, please let me know if there's any comments or questions that you may have, and we'll see you in the next video.